By this point, you're probably checking if you accidentally muted the microphone, or if your headphones are broken. Neither of these are the case. Instead, Kikoskia has come up with a clever ploy to ensure that whatever platform he's uploaded this video to doesn't claw back the 27 pence that he'll earn in ad revenue because five notes that sound like something that's been recorded at some point in human history play in the video. Kikoskia has decided that you are going to provide the background music to this yourself. This will enhance the video by letting you play your favorite tunes and puts the pressure off Kikoskia, with the downside that it makes it extra hard to edit. I hope you appreciate how awesome Kikoskia is. And if you do in fact think he's awesome, and why wouldn't you, why don't you leave a comment saying how awesome he is, and press that little thumbs up, and get all of your friends, your grandmother, their dog, and their dog's best friend to subscribe. That way, Kikoskia will become a super hyper mega awesome success overnight. But I'm distracting myself. This is a video about a person called Kikoskia. Kikoskia is a content creator online. He's even written a book, but this is the year 2024, and we all know that people no longer read. The only way that people can disseminate information is if there are at least three different clones of Subway Surfer in the background of anything they're looking at. Every day, Kikoskia sits in front of a computer and does one of three things. He either records himself playing video games while talking and uploads that to the internet, he livestreams himself playing video games while talking, or he writes and puts that online as well. Some people would say that this isn't a job, but I'd say that if you're getting paid to do it, it's a job. Kikoskia has been creating content since 2008, which is an incredibly long time when you consider that his YouTube channel is almost able to vote. If it actually does vote, I fear for the world. During that time, Kikoskia Let's Played a game called The Stanley Parable. This is a story-driven game released in 2013 for the PC, developed and published by Galactic Cafe, and is absolutely the greatest video game ever created. In this game, you control Stanley, as he experiences a parable. I would say more, but that would spoil what is the highlight of your entire life. Seriously, if I tell you the plot, you will be so angry at me that you will leave 500 angry reviews on some different game just because you're so frustrated. Kikoskia Let's Play that game, Let's Play being a fine art that is the pinnacle of entertainment, and it was by far the most successful piece of content put up on the internet ever. It propelled him to stardom, and he was eventually elected President of the Universe in an alternate reality. In this reality, it was quite successful, he enjoyed the game, but it didn't get him that internet stardom that everyone is craving. He also didn't become President of the Universe, a fact that he's definitely not bitter about to this day. For a while, Kikoskia checked the comments, and then moved on to the many other Let's Plays that followed on. Eventually, however, he was to be surprised. One day, he sat at his computer, ready to record, and he discovered a trailer. That trailer was for the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition. This definitely wasn't released because the game hadn't been put on consoles, and was instead released because the creators had all new awesome ideas to make the original game even better. Though the Stanley Parable is perfect in every single way, they sought to make it even more perfecter. Which is definitely a word, because they made it a word. They went to the creators of the Oxford Dictionary, put the word in front of them, five chocolate bars, and 22 tons of sand, and said, you figure it out. The next day, it was in the dictionary. I'd tell you to check, but you probably don't have a physical copy of the dictionary. After a number of years, the game was eventually released, to ultra super mega hype critical acclaim. Everyone said it was the most amazing thing created since Kikoskia made that Let's Play of the Stanley Parable, and a law was passed by the United Nations requiring every single person of the world to buy the game. If you haven't bought that game, you have five minutes to buy the game before your local police force break down the door and arrest you for crimes against entertainment. 
if you're one of those people that isn't buying the game now and thinking, ha, huh, Crimes Against Entertainment doesn't sound too bad, let me inform you that the punishment for this is being ejected into space. Hmm, buying the game now, aren't you? With that aside, it's time now to begin the Let's Play... No, the Ultra Deluxe Let's Play of the new Stanley Parable, with your host, Kikoskia, the greatest Let's Player ever. Alright, I said it, Kikoskia, where's my money? What do you mean, there isn't any money? You said you'd pay me, and I'm not talking about exposure. People die of exposure. You said you'd pay me if you had money. Well, now I feel silly, don't I? No, I'm not going to delete it. I've already recorded it. I haven't pressed the stop record button. This is the greatest thing that's ever been recorded. Yes, I know I said that your stuff is the greatest thing ever recorded, but you're not me, are you? I'm infinitely better than you are. I'm also very humble. Ask me how humble I am. I'm not the one being rude. You're the one being rude. If this is the way you treat your guest narrators, I quit. Yes, I know I'm not getting paid, but I quit anyway. See how you narrate the rest of the game without me. I know I've already recorded all of my lines, but let me just leave in spite, all right? I'd slam the door, but your room doesn't have a door yet, so I'm just going to... Um, you've really ruined this, haven't you, Kiko? I wanted to get mad and walk out, but... Fine, I'll just press the end record button. See how you like it. <laughs> 